Hey there, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Hope you had a fabulous week and I hope you are ready to tackle next week, right? Finish one, jump right back in. So, how'd you sleep? Did you drink water? Did you move your body with purpose? And did you find any time to sit and be still, to sit in some silence? to sit and check in with your body. No worries, these foundational habits are not meant to be perfected and then you move on, right? These are your habits that you're going to just always keep at the top of your priority list so that you can build on top of them. So I hope you have a cup of coffee, maybe some tea. I actually have some kombucha here um, as it's actually the afternoon, but it's okay. Um, grab something to drink and we're going to talk today about a an exercise that I am just totally loving. Um, and it is called fear setting. So like goal setting, fear setting. And I first learned about it when I was watching an interview with Tim Ferriss and Marie Forleo. I will include it in the link if you're interested. And basically it's just an exercise that I didn't quite get the full value of until I actually sat down and started using it. Um, but what it does is it just breaks down things you're afraid of, right? Um, and lets you kind of look at them a little more clearly and not so clouded by all of the fear. Fear shows up in my life all the time. It has for years. Um, fear prevents me from doing things because I'm scared I'm going to look silly. I'm afraid I'm not going to look professional enough or it's not going to be as good as so-and-so's or um, fear keeps me stuck. It doesn't allow me to grow and to challenge myself because I'm too afraid to do those things. Fear can show up in your relationships. It shows up in your work. It shows up in um, your personal growth, right? If you're afraid you're going to lose your loved one, you sometimes hang on tighter and tighter. If you're afraid you're going to look silly in that CrossFit class and you just choose not to ever try because you're too afraid, then you can't grow, you can't try new things. So I started doing this fear setting and the very first time I did it, at the end of the exercise, I looked down and I was like, so what the hell am I exactly afraid of? It, it made me have an aha moment on how silly my fear was. So. I'm going to take a picture of one that I've done in my journal um, so that you have like a little template and you can kind of see how my thought process went. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to get your journal. Hi, Kobe. You're going to get your journal and on the left side, so like, you know, like where you start writing, you're going to write down everything that possibly could go wrong if you were to do this thing that you're afraid of, right? So you have all the coulds, and I, I color mine and doodle it so that it just makes it a little more fun. So you write down anything and everything that possibly could go wrong if you were to attempt this thing, or if you were to, you know, go forward in that direction. Then what you're going to do in the middle, right smack down in the middle, you're going to write all of the ways that you can prevent those really horrible things from happening, right? So you're, the worst thing that could happen if you went to a CrossFit class would be that you didn't know anyone and you felt alone and scared because you didn't know anyone. So what could you do to prevent that? You could bring a friend, right? There you go, that's one thing. And you just keep going down the list and, and coming up with ways that you can prevent those really horrible things from happening if you could, right? Once you have all the coulds and all the prevents, then on the far side of the paper, the other side, you're going to come up with all the ways that you could repair if those things went really, really horrible, right? If those things, so you go to CrossFit, you don't know anyone and you didn't bring a friend. So how do you repair that really awful thing from happening? How do you repair not knowing anyone? Um, by going and then you know someone, right? Or maybe that's not really that big of a thing. There, you know, there's nothing to repair. There's no permanent damage from that thing. 
from not knowing anyone, right? So cool, that kind of makes you look and say, well, I guess that's not really that scary. There's no permanent damage being done, right? And so you continue down and you fill up all the ways that you can repair those things if they were to happen. And then at the very end, you're going to just kind of sit with it, kind of look at it, digest it, you know, maybe take it a little while to fill this out. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. But what you're going to do when you're all done is you're just going to, you can think about it, but journaling, there's science behind writing it down. And again, I didn't truly value journaling until I started doing it regularly. But what you're going to do is you're going to write down the cost of not doing it. Like what... What will happen if you don't even try? What's the cost for not trying this thing? What's the cost for not going to that CrossFit class ever? Well, you never get to try it. Um, you'll never know. You know you, you know, you miss out on doing something new. Like just kind of journal, like what's the, the downside? Like you're kind of making, here's, here's, a, here's a map to get through the scary stuff. Now, what happens if you were to never try? What's the cost of not attempting? So the first time I did this, I actually looked down at my list and I was like, okay, that makes no sense. All the things that I'm scared of, I can totally prevent or repair. So it's really not that scary at all. And I've been doing this, anytime I notice that I'm making a decision out of fear, I sit down and do this, even if it's on a scrap of paper. And I just kind of get it all out and I look at it from a different view. I look at it at a view that's not filled with fear and add it from a place where I can start to take steps forward. Because then what happens is your little thing here that in the middle, this prevent, that becomes like a to-do list. Like, okay, I'm gonna find a friend that's gonna go with me. Okay, I'm going to um, start saving more money for that thing. I'm going to ask for help here. I'm gonna take lessons here, right? And it becomes a little to-do list for you to tackle that fear. Give it a shot. Let me know if you enjoy it, if it's beneficial, if it's something that helps. I really do like to hear back from you because then I know which things I should keep giving my clients and which things I should keep recommending and which things are actually helping you. So you can reach out to me via email, on Facebook or on Instagram, or if you're a personal friend, family, client, you can just shoot me a text. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Go fill your fridge with healthy green foods. Plan your workouts and prepare for some movement this week. And go tell your friends, your family, your loved ones, how much they mean to you and how grateful you are that they are in your life. May you find happiness and the root of all happiness. Namaste.